อมอคุณจัง Hi this is Jang Chae reporting for No Exit News live for the MTV Exit concert at Olympic Stadium Phnom Penh Cambodia where thousands of people will gather later today for a live concert from international and local pop star but the sex worker group are protesting oh here they are let's go and see what they are doing there MTV Exit has received a huge amount of criticism from a local sex worker group who feel their voice has been neglected throughout the campaign. Today, some mean pizza ang le, the moi. Here we have a representative from a sex worker union, WNU. On TV, we are going to do a lot of work. We are going to do a lot of work. We are going to do a lot of work. We are going to do a lot of work. We are going to do a lot of work. TV, we are going to do a lot of work. We are going to do a lot of work. We are going to do a lot of work. Hai giờ cô một nón nhưng trong một hai nhìn ai cứ dương sọc sai Vì phò là miên, vì phò là bạc phò là bỏ sạch trầy dương đôi chìa sạch rộng chạy nó sạch trầy rồi xịt thật phêm Đàm bây ơ bì chìa chôn dương đang bị phò là bạc phò là khác là Nây cam bì thi là bỏ hờ âm thi vi Âm thi vi sọc sai ta bây đây là ơ Chẳng phù phanh hà là bỏ dương quạt mặt bán sọc sai dương tê Hai quạt mặt bán được hiện sai chứ mùi dương tiết nông ca để quạt chồng mà lên con sợt nó thay nịt MTV had potential to be an incredible platform for within Cambodia for the issues surrounding trafficking, but the campaign has failed for many levels. The biggest failure is their complete disconnect from the need of Cambodian community, and the opinion provided to their viewers are only a portion of the issue. So now let follow me to see another group of the six workers who are handing and explaining about their concern to the audience. MTV, Otman Yol, Pichbap, Kachun Dom, and Uno Kanong Patek Maite. Bây giờ chụp bắp ní Phở ẩm phở hăng xa mở lơ mở nữ Nâng sạch trầy đó xịp lợi phết Đôi sạch thằng ngay đi Nhưng chăng Ok Behind me is the temple of the Raya Palace Earlier this year, sex worker pray here for an end to abuse of the trafficking law I'm trying to read between the lines MTV clearly did not do their homework on implication of running a USAID fund anti-trafficking campaign. The message that the world will receive from MTV 24 minutes special will fail to address the real concern of trafficking in Cambodia. The main concern being accusation of human rights abuse from the people who have been detained under the new anti-trafficking law. <coughs> MTV further its detachment from community by limiting their possible partner due to contract agreement with USAID. MTV cannot broadcast the opinion of sex worker, but no exit can. 
Sex workers make up the vast majority of the entertainment industry in Cambodia. The MTV Exit campaign will therefore only broadcast a buyer view of the sex and entertainment industry to the world. The anti-trafficking movement is fast becoming one of the most popular causes in the world, with many NGO, church, university, charity and the media focusing on it. For MTV, a network with one of the highest amount of viewers globally, to spotlight such a huge subject and only provide select information on the issue is the ultimate insight to its viewer. With MTV, being the only source of information on trafficking for many youth, providing them with half the story can only be one thing, deceitful. While it is crucial for the anti-trafficking issue to be addressed globally, doing so in a way which silent men and women affected by anti-trafficking group and law is not a fair message for the so-called MTV generation as it does not encompass all sides of the issue. In order to create a proper broadcast, one should highlight all sides of the story and allow the viewer to draw their own conclusion. As MTV is a truly influential network among the world youth, they should take into consideration the significance of excluding the message of the affected people within their broadcast. We can only hope that, in the future, the MTV Exit will realize and learn from their mistakes and better address the need of the community in the country in which they work, as well as portray all the issues involved in trafficking in a well-round, unbiased way. This is Chen Tuan for No Exit News, as you hear it first. Don't lie.